Welcome to the Grateful American series, an interactive multimedia program designed to restore enthusiasm in American history for kids and adults too. Creator of this series is David Bruce Smith, an author and publisher here in Washington, D.C. I'm Hope Katz Gibbs, your co-host, founder of Incandescent Public Relations and Incandescent TV. Hello and welcome to the Grateful American series. Here we are today at Montpelier, James and Dolly Madison's home in Orange, Virginia, and we are at the Center for the Constitution with the team that heads up this organization. This includes Dr. Lynn Uzell, the scholar in residence, Dr. Sean O'Brien, the executive vice president and chief operating officer, and Jennifer Howell, the director of digital publishing at Montpelier. Thank you for having us. Welcome to Montpelier. So let's tell the audience a little bit about the center. This is actually the Robert H. Smith Center for the Constitution at James Madison's Montpelier, which offers world-class on-site and web-enabled education programming. The center's goal is to inspire participation in civic dialogue, improve the public's understanding of the founding principles of the United States, and enable citizens to deepen their understanding and participation in our democracy. All amazing, noble efforts. So let's start off uh, with a quote by James Madison, who famously said in 1822, knowledge will forever govern ignorance, and a people who mean to be their own governors must arm themselves with the power which knowledge gives. So tell us, Sean, do you want to start off? The Center for the Constitution was established in 2002 with the goal of becoming the nation's leading resource in high quality in constitutional education. So how are you accomplishing that mission? Well, James Madison really said it best when he talked about the importance of education. And we take that to heart in what we do here at the Robert H. Smith Center for the Constitution. And for the long time, we have worked with teachers and other groups to really get in depth into what the founders were reading, what the founders were writing, and to talk about the founding principles of the United States and really the origin of modern democracy and the work that James Madison and the fellow founders were doing at that time. The thing that I think is really interesting and important about the Smith Center is that we are a nonpartisan organization dedicated to teaching teachers, uh, law enforcement officials, elected officials, and others about these founding principles so that they can take their, this knowledge on to the people that they influence. So we refer to these people as leverage points in society. So teachers teach lots of students, police officers interact with whole communities, elected officials, of course, um, make policy and pass legislation. And so we really feel like uh, bringing people to Montpelier as the pinnacle experience in learning about our story, the American story, learning about the American identity is the way to really inspire them to take their knowledge about the Constitution to the next level. So has the Constitutional Center made a difference? And how do you measure it if it has? Well, of course, <laughs> yes, it's made a great <laughs> difference. Uh, we've worked with thousands of teachers from all across the country and from people from many countries to talk about these founding principles. We routinely ask teachers, okay, you've been to Montpelier, it's been a year since you were here. Has that experience had any influence on your teaching? How is it helping your students? And they report to us that what they've learned at Montpelier has been a significant um, contributor to the way that they talk about the American story and the origins of the United States. And really what we want to do in that case is take that knowledge to the next generation because they're the ones who are then going to grow up and be the leaders when I'm an old man and I want to have educated and thoughtful leaders uh, running the country. And so having the students get a, a passion for the Constitution and the, and the founding of America when they're in school so that they can continue that passion throughout their lives. So what are some of the things that you do when you're teaching? Uh, when you're teaching? What kinds of technologies do you use? And how do you keep the interest of, your, of whoever your audience is? Well, I think we try to approach the subject in much the same way that James Madison himself would approach it, which is to say, that we take whatever subject we're looking at, whatever constitutional aspect they're studying, the federalism or the legislative power or the executive power, and we look at the background 
of that, uh, that aspect. And so we look at the way it had been understood prior to the Constitution, whether in the state constitutions or in the European constitutions or in the six ancient and modern confederacies that Madison had looked at. And then with that background, we look at the way it was actually developed within the United States Constitution. And then once we have that grounding, we have the way of analyzing and appraising the way that these powers have been developed in American history. And then begins the real lively discussion as to whether or not it has de been developed in a way that the framers would approve of, or if we have deviated in any way, or whether changes have occurred which have been an improvement on what the framers did. So can you talk about some of the major projects you've done here? Well, we have a lot of seminars here, and these seminars are often geared to a particular demographic. For instance, school teachers, middle school, even elementary school and high school, uh, and also law enforcement agencies. Uh, we have had seminars for state judges, but we also try to keep a few slots open even for the general public. And all of these people have diverse backgrounds and a diverse level of understanding of the material before they get here. But one thing that they have in common is a desire and an interest to learn more. And so we provide them with a setting in which they can immerse themselves in this subject and give them all a grounding from which to discuss it from morning till evening because they're here for a few days. You're watching the Grateful American Series. Check us out at www.gratefulamericanseries.com. We'll talk to you soon. That's it for today's episode of the Grateful American Series. We look forward to restoring enthusiasm in American history for you and your kids.